So welcome back for this second video. I'm still presenting uh, the step-by-step -step introducing to Azure Cloud. So this time we've made this uh, simple application with FastAPI and test it locally with an, on a local environment made with Anaconda. And we will introduce this time Docker, which is the second step. And the third step will be, and the third video, so will be the deployment on the Azure Cloud. So what we need right now is we need to download Azure, uh, Azure, sorry. <laughs> we need to download Docker and to install it and launch it. So uh, Docker, let's say you can find many, many information on the web. It's used to uh, manage image and container. And it's, um, it's a kind of, you detach uh, from your local environment and you can make uh, a kind of virtualization of your development environment. So this is pretty useful when you have to share with stuff. I'm still working with Sublime, I'm still in the walkthrough, and also I will show, but I think in the third video, uh, VS Code, for the time we didn't use it. Anyway, so let's get back. Uh, I'm still in the console. I'm in the correct uh, directory, you see. We have the file that we have created, Docker file, readme, uh, and then uh, main.pi and requirement. And I'm gonna go through, so I have a kind of process that start from here, okay, and well, I would put it in yellow, and that hand here, and then you can loop, we're gonna loop two times on this. So, uh, if I watch into the Docker, for the moment I have no image and there's nothing. So that's the file that is interesting for us right away is the Docker. Okay, so I'm going to go through directly. Uh, it's going to download 3.9, the version of Python, Python, sorry. Then uh, create a work there named code, then copy the requirement, then install the requirement. Everything that we almost done with Anaconda is going to do it, but it's going to virtualize or make into a, an image. And then we can uh, deploy this image into a container. That's basically the ID. Then expose it on the port 80 and we will have our fast API uh, working on the port 80 like we have, uh, like we did, and I'm gonna change it. So what, for instance, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna work with the version eight, you know, I made different, so I would call it eight. So I replace it everywhere because I will show you later what is, the interest of having a tag. Okay, sorry. So that's good, I'm good. So what I'm gonna do right away, I'm gonna create the Docker image name eight. So, uh, and then yes, as I know it's eight, I'm gonna put it right away. Uh, we'll say Docker image eight and do this. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to roll. Let's roll. So we're gonna create the image. Where is he? Right, right here. So what are you gonna do? Is gonna tag, is gonna create a tag. Uh, BF fast, BF that's my initial, fast API demo, uh, tag with seven, and then add the dot, at the dot at the end. So he's gonna go through the Docker file and do what we have done. Okay, then I'm going ah, just to show you that the image has been created and it's called test eight. And you see the name of these things. Okay, a news for the moment. And I'm going to launch the container. So it's going to run. What I say is that it's going to run, it's going to leverage on this image and then run an instance, uh, a container, sorry. Uh, leveraging on this image on the port 80 and then I will have access to the okay I will have access to the application and then I should see docker image test 8 which means that it's a version so other tab and you see I'm in the correct one I'm exactly in the same situation I health check Okay, but if I change the file right here, so you say, uh, hello, sorry, hello again, again, it won't work. 
let's say in capital letters, it won't work. You see, uh, I can check, I can come back to the, and then because I did not update the image, so it cannot leverage on it. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna disable that. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go through, so I see if the image, it is not changed, but I have a container and I need to rebuild the whole stuff to make the change. So let's say we have this container that has been one minute ago and it's available and I'm gonna kill all this container and image. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna remove it. And I'm gonna remove the image. Okay, so normally it should be empty. Okay, this is empty and my application is not working anymore. Okay, and then I would say, okay, I need to go back and then it will be the nine. I would create the nine. Okay, so I create the nine, but you can keep this. Uh, but anyway, I show you quickly how to. Okay, so every time I have C8, test eight, 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 eight. Okay, and then I will, oh, well, that's all right. Then I would say test a nine, okay? And let's say, well, let's say, let's have hello again for test eight. And I put it, oh, test nine, sorry. <laughs> okay, and then I put it in. Okay, so I redo the stuff that I have. Okay, I'll clear my console. And then I will do it quicker. So it will do the things. Okay, you redo the things. I launch the container. So I should have right here, container test nine. Okay, if I reload, I have my new stuff and hello again and stuff like that. So I've just rebuilt the whole stuff. If I need to, well, anyway, for the moment that, I mean, we have the whole process of creation and application with Docker and show it, which is very basic. I mean, that's for sure there's a more advanced and sophisticated usage, but I'm not interested right away. What I wanted, it had to have the ability to use it uh, very straightforward and typing the command. I would show you in some other video, not in the third, but maybe in the fourth video, I would show you how to make a Mac, a Mac, Mac file that will help you to not type again and again all these, uh, all these files, okay? So let's stop the whole things. So you can, for instance, you can do a very heavy stuff like saying, okay, I remove everything and then you will remove everything that I have, I guess, yeah, you see? And then I can delete this one because I have killed all the container and then it show a little bit more of, um, I mean, it's a free some space disk, but for sure, and it's not working anymore. Okay, so basically that was uh, the second video that is showing how that the objective was showing how to test locally our simple app into Docker. And then we will go the third video. I will deploy this uh, simple app, the simple app on Azure. Okay, so it means that I need to create an account and stuff like that, but I'll be back in a minute then. See you. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can read also these, uh, these articles, the whole stuff, and you can access to the whole code used in this, this video and also the, uh, the walkthrough of this video through this uh, text file. Okay, see you then, bye-bye.